Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be talking about streaming and more specifically the things and tools I use to stream, I would like to think successfully. I have wanted to make one of these videos for quite some time just to let you guys know sort of what I do use as I do get a few questions in stream as well as on YouTube uh, of the tools I actually use to stream in general and then the tools I use to help me make my stream better and make my stream I guess less stressful so I can focus on the game and the chat throughout my stream. So I would say there's probably four main programs that I use. Uh, one specifically being the, the streaming program I use, how I actually stream. The second would be the program I use to receive alerts, um, donations, bits, follow alerts, subscribe alerts, things like that. Third would be a chatbot. So the chatbot would be to run commands in chat, uh, trigger sound effects on stream, reward people through loyalty points and things like that. Much, much more chatbots are extremely, extremely uh, and can provide so much for a chat and a stream. It's, it's crazy. I don't know how people can actually stream without a chatbot. And the fourth one is, I would say, optional. For me, I was searching for something like this for quite some time, and then I did actually stumble across it on Reddit through an ad, which was weird. And it's free, it's 100% free, and it is music. Don't like to play copyright music on my stream. So this was a great resource to come across that is copyright free, royalty free music, through a player that is just so helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through point by point, explain sort of why I use it and yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first tool and probably definitely the most important tool is your streaming software. So this is a software that you can download and install on your t onto your computer and actually stream and broadcast to an, a website like Twitch, YouTube, uh, Mixer, Hitbox, if that's still around. So my program that I actually use is Streamlabs OBS. Before I used Streamlabs OBS, I was just using the normal OBS Studio. Um, I'm currently using OBS Studio to record this video. I still use OBS Studio to record things. The main reason I made the switch to Streamlabs OBS was because I was using their alert system, their loyalty system. I pretty much had my whole stream set up on Streamlabs. So I thought I'd give it a go and I've really enjoyed it so far. It is still in beta, I believe. So you could come across some issues, but it's pretty much identical uh, to OBS, but OBS does actually have a few more features just because this is in beta. Now we're currently looking at the editor tab. So this is where you can go through and add in your like tiles, titles, scenes, everything like that. So my BRB screen starting soon, you're currently looking at. And then when you head into the live uh, channel, you can actually go and click this side panel and you'll have your chat here. My head is over the top of the stream chat, but it's literally just uh, the Twitch chat for your channel. I, this is all I have opened on my other monitor. So on this monitor I'm looking at at the moment, I have my game full screen, played in full screen and then to my left I have my second monitor just with this open because it actually shows me my recent events, people that have followed, people that have donated, subscribed, bits, everything. I see everything. I can also do live actions like restart the session, roll credits, spin a wheel, do giveaways, music player, redemptions and then dashboard if you really want to head to dashboard can actually go through and edit um, everything on your Streamlabs option here. So this is basically just the the whole of Streamlabs labs right here in the one program. Another good feature this this has is um, when you actually do set it up it it automatically runs through and I'll show you uh, it um, runs the auto optimizer for you so it picks up what computer you've got what parts in your computer you've got and then it actually scans your internet speed as well the nearest server and does all the hard work for you which is what I needed. <laughs> And it's super helpful, seriously. So this is Streamlabs OBS. I will be leaving links in the description down below as well. I'll leave a link to just normal OBS as well. If you prefer to use that, check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, this is Streamlabs OBS. Alrighty guys, the next uh, really, really important thing is your alert system and where you have your donations and everything sort of tracked. So I'm still in Streamlabs OBS because I do actually use Streamlabs for my alerts. Um, I did try a few other companies or I guess 
like extensions and I, I never found anything that was as good and suited to me. And that's what matters. Like what whatever you use that is best suited for you, that works the way you want it to work, use it. I, I tried Stream Elements, I've tried Muxi, um, and I just I couldn't switch from Streamlabs to those other programs because I was just too used to it. <laughs> Streamlabs has become very, very, very in depth from where it started off. Um, but I mainly use it just for the alert box. Um, I don't have like goals or stream bosses. I use it for the event list. I've got a custom event list in my stream as well. Um, if I go to the editor, I can quickly show you that my custom event list is this. So it'll sort of bounce up and say that we've got a new sub and things like that. So that, that's what an event list is. And the alert box is basically when someone else follows or someone subscribes or donates or donates bits, an alert will pop up on screen to be like such and such, and such donated $10 or such and such uh, resubscribe. So that's something you definitely would need if you are streaming, um, just to show some credit to the person that is, uh, you know, supporting you. And it, it is like a little bit of a shout out, I guess you could call it, but it, it makes you feel a lot better when you get to see your own name on stream as well um, and of course you can use it for donations just so it's it's through an actual company uh, and there's just heaps of different custom things like spin the wheel a wish list credits you can have a chat box on screen the good old jar um, i think i've got my jar here so when someone follows so i'll just do a test follow the notifications there and then a little tiny games head just Balls in the jar. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the alert box. And, and I, I definitely do love using Streamlabs. It's just, it's so much more useful than a lot of other programs. But hey, I'll, I'll link a few in the description as well of the different sort of uh, extensions you can have for like alerts and things and go through them, have a look and um, see which one suits you. The reason, the big reason I, I do use this is because it's all in one program. Alrighty guys, so this I would say is probably the second most important thing, even over like alerts and things like that. Uh, this is a chatbot. So there are, there are literally so, so many chatbots out there to choose from. I'm using the, the Streamlabs chatbot. It was called Ankbot before it was called Streamlabs, before I think they purchased it or I don't know, but I was using it before it was Streamlabs, but now it is Streamlabs. It's nice to, you know, have them all together, I guess. Now, uh, this chatbot is quite advanced. There's a few others like Nightbot. There's, there's literally heaps. There are so, so many chatbots. Now with, uh, with this one, I'm pretty sure you can use it for YouTube as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. The main purpose I use it for is the currency tracking. So I can track people uh, for their hours and people have been into my chat. Um, I use it for sound files. So my subscribers, when you sub, you actually get a command that is linked to a five second MP3 that'll actually trigger on stream uh, when you actually run the command. Uh, another thing I use it for is just the normal commands. So these are my normal commands that people can use in the chat. I've got diamonds is my currency. So people can run the, the diamonds uh, if they wanna see how many hours they've got or if they wanna see what rank they are or, or things like that. And then I've got my mod commands, I've got my sub sounds and timers. Now timers has their own category. These are the commands that run on a timer. So if there's X amount of people chatting in the chat or every 15 minutes, whatever you like. There are so many other things to, to do with this, like events, mod tools, polls, betting, quotes. There's, there's just heaps. I mainly use it for the commands and the loyalty tracking, but overall it, it is an awesome, awesome, awesome chatbot. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, like I said in, in the previous clips, I will be linking everything for you guys. Um, and if you do have any questions, guys, make sure you do let me know down below. I'm more than happy to make a video on separate things like sound files or anything. All right, guys, the fourth and final sort of, I guess, tool or tip that I would definitely recommend is a music source. Now, I've recently come across a program called Pretzel. It is all copyright free, uh, royalty free music that you are free to use on your Twitch streams, YouTube streams, anything you like. It has its own little player. So it literally has all of the different types of, um, I guess, styles, genres 
you can save liked stuff, songs, you can make your own playlists. And all of the songs, some of them have like no no lyrics and you can there's literally a one with no lyrics. You can block lyrics, everything like that. Um, I would definitely recommend using uh, copyright free music if you are going to repurpose your streams like me, I upload clips and things to my Facebook page. I'm going to be uploading some clips and things to my YouTube page. And I just definitely know on YouTube, they scour every video for any copyright claims or anything like that. So it's just best to avoid all of that in, in just general and uh, go for, if not a YouTube playlist, um, try out Pretzel. Um, if you do sign in with your Twitch, it'll actually, whenever you're live playing music, it'll actually have a little Twitch bot in the chat and it'll say now playing and then a link to the music just to give credit to the artists and credit to Pretzel. But I'm totally fine with that. I don't know if there is a paid version for it or not to like bypass that, um, but you know what? It's free music. It's royalty free. It's not hurting anyone. So I'm, I'm happy to, to keep that feature in. Alrighty guys, I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful for you guys. If you have any questions guys or would like to request a video, comment down below guys and I'll be sure to either answer in comment format or in an actual video. I would like to do more kinds of videos like this so make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Other than that guys, um, have a great day, great afternoon. I'm gonna head off, see you later.